run out of time. We are going to begin our second speech. So Genesis is uh, giving us a speech today entitled Changing the Narrative of Grace. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I present to you Genesis. Five-year-old little me is walking down the dark, gloomy hallway. I make my right to my destination as I open door 248. Before me, I see my father laying on the hospital bed, weak and stagnant, plugged up to the life support machine. As I make my way to my father and look into his big brown hazel eyes, I say, Dad, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay, at the next visit. As I wave goodbye and pull out the exit door, I put my hands on top of my heart. My heart is beating rapidly as if to tell me something is wrong, something bad is coming. The next day, ring, ring, ring. Hello, my mother answers the phone. Yes, yes. Will be there immediately. My mom glances at five-year-old me and picks me up into her arms and holds me tight. We drive off to the hospital. Back at room 248, I open the door and I look around. Why? Why is everything gone? Why was my father that was before me once is gone? His body is not there. I'm so confused. I feel anxious. My stomach has dropped to the floor and I'm holding it tightly. My mother looks at me and comes forward and says, Genesis, I'm sorry, but your father died, sweetie. At this time, everything in the world stops and I become anxious and depressed, spiraling into this tunnel of darkness. Flash forward, I am now nine years old. I'm thinking how miserable I will be in the future if I continue carrying and dragging this pain from my father's wound. So I decide at nine years old today to change my narrative of grief. I'm no longer a victim, I am victorious. And grief, grief isn't bad. Grief is the most valuable teacher of my life. Let me share what grief has taught me with you today. Number one, the value of life. See my father, a healthy, strong man, into the state of a vegetable, laying on that hospital bed, stagnant, not even alive, breathing, but not even appearing like lifeless, passed like that. We are thankful to even be here today. We should appreciate the most valuable thing life has given us, which is life itself into our hands. Appreciate being here now. Don't appreciate it when it's too late. Number two, grief has taught me inner strength. While I was dealing with my grief, I was bullied and tormented by kids a lot. I felt I didn't have a voice. But it wasn't until I stood up to those bullies that I realized that I have inner strength. Look, we all have inner strength, but you don't know how much inner strength you are given until you go through grief. And it's the most powerful thing you can use. Number three, grief has taught me vulnerability and how to be open and show my emotions and let my guard down. Look, being vulnerable is one of the biggest things you can do to heal. So I ask that you do it today if you're going through grief. That you say, I need help, I am not okay. And that you show those emotions. When I was dealing with my grief in a negative way, my voice would tighten and I would feel pain when I would cry and the tears would fall off my face because it was hard for me to showcase that emotion. But let me tell you, you need to. And the most important thing I want you to take today is don't fall into society's trap. Stop thinking that grief is bad. It's really not bad when you learn to embrace it and hug it and you see it's a part of you and that it can change your life. It can be a positive thing, but it starts with you.